Hey guys, I wanted to look at uh, Psalm 19 real quick, and um, we're just going to look at verses 12 and 13. You can go through the whole uh, psalm if you like. I mean, there's a lot of good information in there, but there was two things that kind of jumped out at me. Um, and this is David that is, is writing this. And he says, Who can understand his errors? And then he starts a new sentence. Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant from presumptuous sins. And those are the, the two things that I really kind of wanted to hit on. And he talked about uh, keeping me from secret faults. And as we know, David, with his fall with Bathsheba, he tried to hide it. And that um, in hiding it, his sin just continued to grow and get worse. And, and we've talked about this a little bit in the past, about how sin is basically a cancer. And, and just covering it up is, is not going to solve the problem. In fact, what it's going to do is it's going to mask everything to the point where that that cancer just begins to eat eat you up from the inside out and this is what happened with David as he as he kept trying to make uh, attempts to cover up his sin it ended up just getting worse and it ended up festering and, and then ultimately ended up claiming the life of his uh, of his first child uh, with Bathsheba but one of the things that we see here is that David is praying uh, to God that 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 not happen to him um, cleanse me from secret faults cleanse me from the things that I would seek to to keep hidden um, basically acknowledging that he himself did not have the capacity and the strength to to make amends for these things so he's asking for the Lord's help in doing in doing that you know cleanse me from these secret faults and that that involves not just repentance but confession as well and taking responsibility for what it is uh, that one has done the next thing is is keep keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins now presumptuous sins is something that is talked about in Romans and Hebrews as well and it's basically presuming upon the Lord it's um, it's basically it's that willful sin if you look at it in uh, other translations you'll see that it says willful sin deliberate sin um, you know or in this translation we're looking at you know uh, presumptuous sin and it's all the base it's the same basic idea and it's the idea that um, it's it's whenever you and I go out there and we're like well I'm gonna go ahead and do this it's okay because God will forgive me um, that's presumptuous sin and David is praying that that not be the case he's he's praying to the Lord once again acknowledging that within his own strength he doesn't have the ability to to repel that so he's saying keep back your servant also from presumptuous sin keep me back from from that desire to to sin willfully against you and just presume upon your grace that oh well it's okay God will forgive me um, and that's something that I think all of us need to to kind of keep in mind, uh, like I said, because that sin is a cancer, and because when we presume upon the Lord, that cancer enters in, and then when we seek to cover it up, um, it continues to fester and eats us from the inside alive. So, two things from David that I thought was uh, was pretty interesting today. I want to share with you guys. All right, God bless.